Astronaut Peggy Whitson entered the Bigelow Expandable Activity Module last week to test its response to structural loads. So how is BEAM going up there on the space station? This is your space pod for February 8th, 2017. On February 2nd, Peggy Whitson opened the hatch to BEAM and was the first person to enter it since October last year. BEAM is a technology demonstration, so it's not used as regular living space or for storage. Astronauts enter BEAM every few months or so to gain data in microbial sampling, radiation monitoring and structural load testing. In this BEAM session, Whitson was performing structural load testing. She placed sensors around the different parts of BEAM and then used her fist to bang on the module. The collected vibration data will be used to tell us how BEAM responds to impacts. After arriving at the station, BEAM was off to a slow start, including problems with its expansion. But since then, it has outperformed all expectations. Officially, BEAM is destined to be released from the station to burn up in a fiery death in under two years' time. However, a tweet from Bigelow Aerospace on January 18th hinted at a new lease on life for BEAM as a possible everyday module of the station. Journalist Jeff Faust from Space News has reported that NASA has no immediate plans for the port where BEAM is currently located. NASA has stated that they're in talks with Bigelow Aerospace about evaluating the next steps for the BEAM module. NASA does intend to offer the port to commercial users in the future, but hasn't released any more details. Robert Bigelow himself told Space News that more details regarding any potential new uses for BEAM would be released shortly. He didn't specify an exact date, but when do you think we'll hear more information about BEAM? Do you think NASA will let Bigelow Aerospace use the port commercially, or will they offer it to other potential customers? Let us know in the comments below or via social media. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share it with your family and friends so you can all stay up to date on the future of tomorrow. I'd like to give a huge shout out to the crowdfunding supporters of these space pods, our Patreon patrons. Without you, these videos would simply not happen. So thank you to our founders, architects, engineers, ambassadors, and dreamers of tomorrow for all of your support. And if you'd like to give us a hand, head on over to patreon.com slash spacepod. My name is Lisa Stodzianowski, and until next time, keep on discovering.